Hey, yo, Dad. What, son? What are we doing today? We're going to be eating some snack crate today. I'm sure we're going to be eating it from. UK, the British people. Awesome. How do you think it's going to taste? I don't know. Uh, let's go find out. All right. My name's Casby. This is my dad. Howdy. And, <laughs> and this is Snack Crate. Uh, we're all we're wearing new like different clothes because Snack Crate didn't cut like we filmed this the intro like three days ago. And the box just now came in, but we will be doing a food test of the UK Snack Crate, and we're gonna be rating all these one to ten, one being the worst, ten being the best, and. Uh, Let's get this open and unbox it. Alright, so this is all that was in the snack crate box. What do you want to try first? Mm, let's try them chips. Alright, these chips, they call them crisp in the UK, I believe. These these chips are called prawn co cocktail chips. Let's see how good these going to be. They, they smell like salt and vinegar chips. Mmm. I don't know. They're like salt and vinegar. They're like salt and vinegar chips from the U like from the US, but like they don't have as much vinegar on them. It's like more I'll say about seven. I'm gonna give that one a six. I don't know, they're alright. Got me some water here just in case some of these don't taste that good, but all right. So I rate this, this. This is six for me. Let's just move that to the side. Not too bad. Try to spice the chicken. All right. So these are spicy chicken chips. We'll see. Good. They ain't bad. I feel like their chips are kind of plain. I don't know. It ain't, it ain't too bad, though. <laughs> I'm trying to know. Hmm. I don't know. It's a little bit better than them. I'm going to give it a 6.5. We're going in the middle of 6 or 7. I'll give that an 8. That's an 8? That spicy chicken pretty good. You're giving a high rating on that one. That I'm I'm right. excited to get into these candy bars. Mm. All right, what's next? Bacon fries. Had a bag already open here because we snuck into these earlier <laughs> and looked at them. All right, bacon fries. Bacon flavor cereal snack is what it's called. Mm. <clears throat> Mm. Don't get me wrong, I love bacon, but when you put them with fries and hash tag chips, huh? They ain't too bad neither. That's all I can do. I'm gonna get it. That's pretty good. I'll give it another eight. Seven. Seven, eight, eight. That's pretty good so far. Seven ish, probably for me. Ain't too bad. You make too bad. All right, let's get into. Uh, let's see. Let's try this since it's. Let's see what it's called. Shop sour strawberry. I don't know. Let's see. <clears throat> oh, I might have gave you too much. Got a little bit of sour sense to it. I actually kind of like these. I'm pretty good. This thing been pretty good so far. That's real good. It's getting stuck to my teeth, but it tastes pretty good. Yeah, I'm, gonna good. Get, I'm gonna give that one a give seven one. and a half. As far as candy goes, I'll give, I don't know, give another eight. That's pretty good. It's getting stuck uh, in my teeth. 
If you like sweet stuff, that can kind of sweeten it pretty good. Alright, what do you want to do next? Try caramel. Alright, so we got milk chocolate coated caramel wafer biscuit. <clears throat> Like Let's a candy see. bar. I'm liking these. I'm liking these. Mm. That's definitely the best out of this so far. That's a 10. <laughs> I'm giving that one a solid 9. That's 10 there. If we wasn't doing this food test thing, this thing already be wiped out already. Well, that one, that one, there's another one just similar to that one. That one's real good too. This one's dark chocolate. This one was regular. But that was definitely uh, the best yeah. thing so far. Yeah. I, nine or ten. I'm giving that one a nine. That was definitely good. I'm, I don't know. I'm not big on dark chocolate, but it might be good. It might be. That's pretty good. Anything like that, and it's good. I don't know, it's pretty daggone good. I don't like dark chocolate stuff, but in this, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna give it an eight or eight I'm, and a half. I'm eight. gonna give that an eight. That right there, maybe ten. I mean, I'm give that, that, yeah, that probably eight. A little better than that one, but about an eight. Good though. I'm gonna give that one eight. Okay. These kind of look like Mentos. They're called fruit gums. Might take me a second to open these. Ain't been none of them real bad though. For good taste out of them right there caramel real good got you a yellow one here mine's red you mean lemon i'm talking about that because it's too hard and yeah it's sticking to my teeth it is sticking to my teeth too ah uh, i'll give it five oh got good taste <laughs> It's all right, Taste. It's not something I'd eat all the time. Stick to your teeth. Yeah. I'm like probably giving that one a five. Five and a half. It has a decent flavor, five but for me, it's way too sticky. Stick, stick to your teeth won't like that. Mmm. I'm having a hard time getting it out. Mm. I'm going to get me a drink after that. I might save these for last because I feel like it's for like a type of gum. I'll save them for last. <clears throat> Alright, well, let's get into this. It's called a. What is this called? I don't even know. It's hard to tell on these. I'll show you the wrap for the. Oh. <clears throat> it looks like a Laffy Taffy. That's what it looks like. I ain't much on that flavor. I think it's more, it's like a strawberry taste in a way. It's supposed to be sour, it says. I ain't got sour. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to give bad. it a six. A six. I'll give it a five. About a six. It was, it was all right. <clears throat> Not too bad. All right. We got four more candy bars here, and then we got these two things that we're going to save for last. Let's see what... All right. We're going to try this. It is called the Double Decker. 
Right there be good. I, just, I say all these candy bars are going to be good. I just, I mean, usually stuff like that is. Yeah. Now, I know the two caramel balls look pretty good. Well, before I ruin this. Ooh. I must have something inside of it. I'm just going to take a bite out of this one. I don't feel like getting messy. Not too bad. I don't know. Not what I expected. It's not bad, but it's not what I expected. The double decker. I think it says double decker because it's got two different types of things in it. It's got like marshmallow on top of like these crunch things on the inside of them. I, I give it a seven. It's pretty, it's pretty decent. Not too much on the taste. I'm going to give that one a... I guess I'll go seven too. Or six and a half, seven. It wasn't bad though. Next thing we got going on here. The twirl. Now these have two of them in it. One for me, one for you. How many you got to eat the whole thing? <laughs> We're just going to use one because we can save some. Just break it in half. Now these look pretty good. These look anything like a, like a Kit Kat. I like them. They're real good. Them are pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Milk right. chocolate. Them are definitely. Them probably my favorite. Yeah. Yeah, that's 10. That's 10 for sure. That's good enough. I'm giving that one a nine and a half. I'm not going 10 unless it really hits my taste buds. I haven't hit it. Yeah, it's about 10. But it is pretty <laughs> daggone good. Yeah, that's a good one. I'm making a mess over here. But this is pretty daggone good. Yep. Yeah. I can eat a bunch of them. I'm not too sure what this is called, but it has a line on it, and it says line. Oops. You open this one. I gotta get a drink. <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way... Uh, if you want to know some facts about the UK, stay to the end of the video, and I'll read what comes out of the box. They got some stickers here, and uh, they got this little book that tells you about the UK, and it tells you about the candy that we got. That's good, too. About all the chocolate's been real good. That's good, too. I give that a good eight too. That, that's pretty good. You know what? I it's actually kind of, I kind of like these better than these. <laughs> I like chocolate being pretty good. I, I gotta go with another nine and a half on this one. Let's try this one. That's pretty good too. That's a real good one there. I gotta go with another nine and a half on this one. It was pretty daggone good. Yeah, this is called a crunchy. Real good. A crunchy. <clears throat> yeah, that's real good there. I'm Golden gonna... honeycomb wrapped in Cadbury Cadbury yeah, milk chocolate. Nine on that one myself. That's a real good one. Yeah. And that too. That one's like really, really sweet, but it does have a good taste to it. I know both of them are the best right there so far, and them's real good. I don't know if it. The chips they're, they're, slash a lot of crisp. Them was probably the least favorite for me. Either them. Yeah, probably them, honestly. Them probably my least favorite right there. I'll pick out my top three the at the end. One. I don't like having fruit things. Oh, like yeah, them. actually, yeah. This is the that, worst. That is the one that sticks to your teeth and stuff. It's got a good flavor to stick to your teeth. Mmm. Now, good. this is weird. Huh? Wait until you bite into one of these. Weird one. That surprisingly tastes very good, 
but like the texture in your mouth is just so weird. Like it's nothing I've ever ate before, for sure. It's actually pretty daggone good though. Yeah. It has such a weird texture, don't it? Yeah, it's crunchy. Like, I don't know if you guys can see this. It's crunchy, but they're pretty daggone good though. That's, oh, man. It's kind of hard by picking like top three. I don't know. I had to give that a nine. That's, that's pretty good. Yeah. Man, man, all these is eight to nine and eight and ten and all them I'm, candy I'm bars. I'm going to give this one a off. nine, probably. All right. We're going to pick our top three right here. All the candy bars are real awesome. I mean, that, that, unless you want to try the two candies. Oh, yeah, we still got to try these. But you try that red one there. It, them candy bars is, is really awesome. Mm, I don't know if this is gum or not. You going to like all the candy bars. That's for sure. It's very chewy. I can tell you that. It has good taste, though. Juicy chew. Juicy chew. Oh, yeah. Juicy chews is what it's called. Mmm. These are real good, too. See what the wrapper looks like. I can't even tell if it's gum. Okay. But it does taste good. Mm -hmm. Real good. Yeah. Give that in a nine too, that's pretty good. I'm gonna give it an eight. Eight and a half. And I'm pretty good. Yeah, Alright, I'm gonna pick oh, out my top three, good. and you're gonna pick out your top three. Starting one, two, three. Okay. My number one. Mmm. Honestly, my number one's probably the line. That's probably my number one. What's yours? Mm. The twirl. Yeah, I like the coral pretty good. Yeah. that That's my pretty second, good. by the way. It's, I don't know, it's, 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 it's hard. Juice. It's hard to choose because they're also good, you know. All right, what's your hard, second? The line? <laughs> yeah, the line. And, and I, now, I like third, the line, really. Third is uh either between the crunchy. I actually, I, I really like this crunchy. Or it's between... The caramel. One of them caramel things. Hold on a second. Yeah, they're all pretty good. Oh. <laughs> Overall, it is definitely a good snack crate. If you guys want to look into it, you can go online, snack crate, Facebook, whatever. You can sign up. You get a daily, I mean, a monthly box of uh, different types of candies, foods from around the country. I mean, like all the countries. I mean, I'd really invest in it. It's really cool. We got UK, and we got another one coming in at the end of this month, and uh, we'll make another video on that. We're going to do these every month, probably, and uh, that's been it for the rest of the, this video. Uh, I'll show you the rest of this book and uh, the facts about the UK, but other than that, it's been real. Peace. Right, so here's the fun facts about the UK. Every day, people drink 165 million cups of tea in the UK. That's one fact. Another fact is, at one point, the British Empire ruled approximately 25% of the world's population and covered about 25% of the Earth's total land area. That's another one. The accent of the UK changes noticeably every 25 miles. And that's another one. And then the Big Ben is not the clock it's the bell and then no portrait was ever painted of william shakespeare when he was alive and then the last fact is nowhere in the uk is more than 75 miles from the sea there were six facts there and it's in this book that they give you when you uh get snack crate you can get snack crate and they give you month a uh, box every month looks like this and you get it every month full of candy and you try it from all these different countries. This was the UK. And you get this book that shows you all the foods and it tells you like facts about the UK and just stuff like that. And yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Peace.